Welcome back to AWS Cloud Services. In previous video, we also successfully installed Java 8 version on T2 Micro instance. So today's topic is very important for every Java developer. So we are going to see how to deploy an application on EC2 instance. There are a lot of services are available related to DevOps. But this session is basic understanding of DevOps. We will try to create a restful application on our local. We will package it into a jar. We will move that jar into an instance and start the jar application on the environment. Let's do some hands on. Open your ESTS tool. Here I have already created an application with the help of Spring Boot Starter. This is the controller class which has a method say hello which is annotated with request mapping with the path hello. So our final path will be localhost colon 8080 slash say slash hello. It will return a string hello world which by default runs on 8080 port. Now our application has started successfully. Go to your browser, give a path that is localhost colon 8080 slash say slash hello. Hit enter. Here you will see the hello world response from our API. Means our application is running fine. Come back to STS. Stop the server. Now we have to build the jar file. For this, right click on your application. Go to properties. Click on the location symbol. It will redirect you to the application folder location. Select your application folder. Click on top navigation path. Type CMD. Hit enter. If you have already installed a Maven on your system, you can use a Maven command to build it. Type MVN plain install. Hit enter. It will start building your application. It takes some time. Build is successfully done. To verify your jar is created or not, go back to your project folder location. Here you will find the target folder. Open it. You can see AWS demo jar has been created with the default version 001. Now go back to your AWS management console to start the instance. Select EC2. Click on instances. Here you can see I have an instance which is already running. Copy your public IP address. Now let's do SSH into an instance. For this, copy your public IP address. Open the putty. Make sure your public IP address is changed in hostname. Click on open. Now you have successfully SSH into an instance. So before deploying a jar application on an instance, we need to think that how we can move the jar from our local location to the instance location. So we have a tool which moves the file which is WinSCP. If you haven't installed the WinSCP application on your local, go to Google and search for WinSCP download. Open the downloads link. Click on this download button. It will download a exe file. Now double click on executable file, follow the wizard and install it. Now search for WinSCP on your local. Open it. Now click on new site, place your public IP address here. So default user will be EC2 hyphen user. Now click on advanced. Now click on authentication from the left hand side menu. Here it will ask you to select your PPK file. Select your file and click on OK. Click on save. Give a name for site. Click on OK. Now click on Login. Click on Yes. We have successfully logged in with WinSAP tool on our instance. Now we are ready to move the jar. Go back to your application folder location. We are in target folder already. Click on top navigation path. Copy the path. Go back to your WinSAP tool. Here in this application, on left hand side, it shows your local file. So double click on your current location of local file. Paste your current location. Click on OK. Now your target folder location is open on left hand side. What you can do is 
select your jar file drag it and drop it on right hand side click on ok to upload it will start uploading the jar file on the ec2 instance now the moving file to the ec2 instance is completed to make sure the jar file is moved successfully go back to your party session and do pwd to confirm the location where we have moved our jar file with the help of winsap tool do ls to see the list of files under this ec2 user here you can see our jar file is uploaded successfully this file does not have a proper access permission so that's why it is in red to give the permission type chmod 777 space aws demo 001 snapshot.jar hit enter now do ls now we have a given access permission for this jar file now do sudo su we are now with the root user now we can deploy the application to deploy this jar file we have a java command that is java hyphen jar and give the jar file name hit enter it will start the application here you can see our tomcat container has started on port 80 and our application is also started successfully now it seems our application is running fine on ec2 server we can test it on browser go to browser Place your IP address colon 8080 slash yes ay slash -E If you hit enter, it will not show you any response. It will be a timeout issue. This site cannot be reached. If you remember, we have allowed only SSH for an instance in the security group. We have configured 22 port with the SSH. To solve this problem, we also need to add 8080 port in the security group configuration. Go back to your EC2 management console. Expand the details of your instance. Click on security tab. Here you can see the inbound rules where it has only 22 port is allowed for that instance and source is 0.0.0 which is nothing but allow the traffic from anywhere else. Edit this inbound rule. Click on the security groups which is configured for that instance. Click on edit inbound rules. Here we have already SSH security group configuration with the port 22. We can also add one more rule which is going to solve the problem we saw earlier on the browser. So click on add rule, select the custom TCP here, add port 8080 and the source will be from anywhere and click on save rules. Now you can see two types of inbound rules has been configured which is SSH and the custom TCP with the 8080 port where our application is running on the Tomcat container. Now go back to browser to check. Now it is giving a response, hello world. Remember. If it is a timeout issue, it does not give any response. Double check your security group. It is giving a response. That means we have successfully deployed our application on EC2 instance and it is running fine. Now go back to your EC2 management console. Go to instances. Right click on instances. Stop the instance. That's it for this session. In next session, we are going to see what is load balancer and how to configure it. If you are new to my video, subscribe my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends.